Hi everyone, in this video I am going to discuss about the steps involved in the CMOS fabrication using PWL process. So here CMOS can be fabricated in three different ways like annual process, PWL process and twinter process. In the previous video I have explained you about the annual fabrication process, the different types of steps in detail. So in this video, I am going to explain about the steps involved in the PWL fabrication process that is going to create a CMOS device. Okay, so we know CMOS is nothing but a combination of both PMOS and NMOS where the PMOS transistor should be connected between VDD and output and NMOS transistor should be connected between output and the ground. Okay, so in the case of PWL fabrication process, we need to create the P well, well region on the opposite type of substrate which is nothing but n type substrate. Okay, the same steps involved here as compared to the n well fabrication, but P becomes n and n becomes P. Okay, so P well fabrication steps. Okay, P well, n well are for the CMOS fabrication. First one. Consider n type substrate. Consider n type substrate. So let us consider this n type substrate simply. N type substrate indication we know minus ones with some angle like this. Okay, every time you can show or uh, no need to show that is of your wish, but if you show that depends upon the that sometimes uh, that determines okay the particular layer is going to be shown. And the second step is deposit thick oxide, thick oxide is nothing but point uh, sorry 1 micrometer, 1 micrometer oxy layer on this substrate so that it creates some SAO2 layer. So this is one micrometer oxy layer. When oxy layer is reacted with the silicon, so that it forms SaO2 layer, which is of one micrometer thickness. This is the n-type substrate. And the third step is to create window structure. Why window structure is required? Nothing but we need to vacate the particular area of the oxy layer. To create a P well fabrication, nothing but P well has to be diffused inside window structure. Use photolithography. Photolithography. So take this substrate n type substrate already we have taken oxy layer on this one okay now deposit photoresist layer photolithography involves three steps you know very well uh, depositing photoresist layer applying uv rays and then etching process so this is the photoresist layer and it is the mask So mask needs to be kept where we need to do etching. This is nothing but UV rays. Okay. So after this step, what happens? Only this particular area is going to be created and remaining areas are eliminated. So diffuse N region. Diffuse, sorry, P region. Here we are creating P well. So diffuse P type impurities into this N substrate. In substrate to form P well. Okay. So we are having this type of substrate here. Now after diffusing. This is nothing P well created on the n type substrate. Okay. 
Now, in order to create a PMOS transistor on the entire substrate, we get this particular oxide layer also using photolithography. So, using photolithography, remove unwanted area. Remove unwanted area. So, how it will be? So, this area and this is the oxy layer, this is the oxy layer, here we have P well. This is the oxy layer, N type substrate. Okay. Now, polysilicon has to be deposited at the gate terminal. Uh, before that, we need to deposit uh, thin oxide at the gate terminals. Deposit. 0.1 micrometer oxy layer deposit 0.1 micrometer oxy layer on the substrate to form gates gate terminal See this entire, this one is oxide layer, entirely it is on oxide layer. So now, remove oxide layer in this particular area, four different areas to diffuse N plus and P plus regions into this one using photolithography. Remove unwanted oxide layer using photolithography okay so then we will be having the structure like this after removing the oxy layers this is the p well and this is the n type substrate now Using chemical vapor deposition technique, deposit polysilicon layer at this particular area. Using chemical vapor deposition technique, create polysilicon, create polysilicon on the substrate. create polysilicon on the substrate. So, here we have and type substrate P well this is the polysilicon this is oxy layers okay so next step is to diffuse n plus regions in this p well and p plus region in this using p plus positive mask and p plus negative mask i told you already in the previous video there are four different masks available p plus positive mask p plus negative mask n plus positive mask and n plus negative mask okay so, we can use either of these two sets. If you are using P plus positive mask, then, then definitely for N type region, P plus negative mask should be preferred. If you are using N plus negative mask for P plus regions, then N plus positive mask should be used for the N type regions. So, depending upon the usage, we are using this. Um, finally, after using and diffusing, um, using N plus pause to mask create 
n plus regions in these substrate or p well and using n plus negative mask n plus negative mask create p plus regions in n substrate then we will be having P well region diffused with N regions and here it is diffused with P regions. You can show it as P plus or P, both are okay. Now, I told you already in the previous video when the N well fabrication steps are discussed, uh, source and substrate are connected in both the P MOS and as well as N MOS. That's why uh, N plus region should be diffused here beside the P type region and the P plus region should be diffused here beside the N plus region. So diffuse P region or we can say P plus region beside N region in P well and N plus region beside P region in N well. Okay, so then This is the P well. Here we are having P plus region and N region. This is N region. This is P region. This is P and it is N plus region. Okay. Here it is polysilicon, oxyl layer. This is oxyl layer, polysilicon. Okay. So now after that, final step is to create contact cuts using metallization and then creating contacts. So finally, I am drawing the final steps uh, using metallization. Provide contacts for all the terminals. This is P, P and this is N plus region. Now here we have metal over here. Metal is the straight lines. Here polysilicon. Here we have metal layer. Here we have metal layer. Here it is oxide layer. This is oxide. This is also an oxide layer. Here it is polysilicon, oxide layer. Here we have metal, metal and this is the metal from here to here. Now we are taking the source and substrate of these two outside connect together. Next, this is the gate terminal 
and this is the drain terminal this is the drain terminal these two are connected together and giving the output te terminal and this is the gate terminal these two are connected to the input and source and substrate here this is substrate this is source now go to the structure of the cmos circuit diagram this is the p type and it is n type v in this is vdd see it is pmos transistor it is nmos transistor the pmos transistor should be connected between vdd and output which is vdd and output which is pmos transistor for pmos transistor n sub n type substrate should be there see let us indicate which is the pmos and which is nmos see this is this type of transistor is pmos transistor and this transistor is nmos transistor okay so that's why the pmos transistor should be given to vdd source and substrate connected to vdd and n type substrate n type uh, transistor should be connected to vss always the nmos transistor should be in ground and pmos transistor should be in the pull up and nothing but vdd okay so this is the fabrication steps of this p well in the next video i will explain about the twin tip process